Hey, what's up guys? Kudu here, and today I am feeling a lot better. I'm still just a tiny bit sick, but overall I'm feeling a lot better. Um, just to start off today's video, I just want to apologize for the really, really late night upload from last night. The reason why I was uploaded late was I got sidetracked. I was really tired when I got home because I worked out, and then I had the coach and everything. So it was a really long day yesterday, so uh, I hope you guys get by that. But this is on my 50 plus account, this nuclear, this is... Not a solo nuclear. I'm with basketball and swarm. This is an old video. I'm on 50 plus. The reason why I'm just putting up a single nuclear on drone and multi team is because, well, it's drone. I hate drone. Drone is such a bad map, in my opinion. But pretty much the only way that I see to play drone is you kind of just want to, you just want to stay alive. The only tips I could give you is just watch the hill, keep your head down, and don't get sniped. That's the only thing you got to worry about. And if you can push that spawn that's on the hill, if you, especially in ground war, if you can get them to spawn up on that hill part there, it's easy nuclear, especially when you get your V set up, especially if you have a load star, they just spawn right in the bombs as you shoot, which really works out. C4 really helps in this map. Well, C4 helps in every map. But just uh, what I want to talk about in the video, the commentary of the day, is going to be uh, throwback maps and DLC for Advanced Warfare. Now, you're probably saying to yourself, cool, dude, the game didn't even come out yet. Why the fuck are you talking about DLC? Well, what I just want to point out here is we know that when the Special Edition, the Atlas Pro Edition, or the pre-ordered edition of Advanced Warfare, I'm not quite sure which one it is, it comes with the Pipeline remake from Call of Duty uh, 4. If you guys didn't play COD 4, I'll explain Pipeline. Pipeline looks exactly like Drone in my opinion. If you if you don't know what Pipeline is, it's like I said again, I'll say it one more time, it looks like Drone pretty much. Now how it goes is there's two buildings that mirror each other, right and left. There's a hill on the back side, then there's a, bu and then there's a, a building on the other, and then there's a little catwalk that connects the buildings and pipes that connect the buildings and there's a little underground portion which it's kind of look, really just looks like this map in a way now pretty much it's this map but with a little underground passageway that goes to i guess a railroad track if i remember correctly uh the map because how open it was it was really good for assault rifles really good for lmgs it was really good for sniper rifles smgs could do well is, is easily if you could flank snipers uh, through burst weapons would work because of the sight lines it was really easy to get a good line of sight so uh, <clears throat> sledgehammer games did not work on infinity wards call of duty 4 at all and yet they're still able to to use that map in their final copy of the game this is because i guess either uh infinity ward sold them the license to the infinity engine which is what uh, Infinity Ward uses to make their games, so they have access to use maps from prior games. Or maybe that there is never such a thing that, because all these companies work under Activision, it's seen as Activision's maps, so they're able to use other people's games. So what I would like to see is that Pipeline had a lot of high roofs, so maybe now you're gonna be able to super jump on all the things you couldn't get up onto before, but that'd be really cool if you could, uh, they did pass COD maps, and you could super jump onto things you never could in that game. For example, let's take a look at Skid Row for Modern Warfare 2, Derail for Modern Warfare 2. Let's go into Modern Warfare 3, Mission, Dome. Imagine jumping around on Dome. Um, let me think about Favela. Imagine jumping around on Favela on the higher, higher buildings. Or we could maybe fast forward. We go way back, way back in time to uh, world to world at war if you guys remember castle super jump on castle that'd be crazy imagine if we played a map on damn let me think of another good map we could super jump on uh black ops 1 wmd black ops 1 summit black ops 1 f firing range all amazing maps but this has been a nuclear with yours truly this is the paladin and 94 really great gun i love the camo it adds like a lot of depth to the gun makes the gun look like it like has gold plating on it hope you guys enjoyed 33 and 2 multi-team i died off a double in the second half of the video but i'm gonna cut it out because it's stupid hope you enjoyed Don't